the city of Milwaukee. The following message is transmitted at the request of Milwaukee County Emergency Management. Police are receiving reports of an explosion of a vending machine inside the Bradley Center. The explosion has released some type of virus into the air, as abnormal illnesses are being reported along with the spread of this virus. As a precaution, the Bradley Center is being shut down. All vending machines in the city of Milwaukee are going out of service until further notice. Residents within Milwaukee County should stay indoors and keep all doors and windows locked. Messages transmitted at the request of the Columbus Police Department. Reports are being received that a soda machine has exploded inside the nationwide arena. An unrecognized gas was released along with the explosion. The gas that was released has caused abnormal symptoms of individuals. These symptoms include slurred speech, vomiting from the nose and ears, diarrhea, darkening of exposed skin, irritation of skin, and dizziness. Although some of these symptoms can be fatal, no deaths have been reported. As a precaution, residents within a one-mile radius of the nationwide arena should stay indoors and lock all doors and windows. Do not leave your home for any reason. transmitted at the request of the Evansville Police Department. Reports have an explosion of a snack machine inside of Evansville City are being received. The explosion released an unknown type of airborne virus into the air. Some individuals experienced abnormal symptoms that include slurred speech, vomiting from the nose and ears, diarrhea, darkening of exposed skin, irritation of skin, and dizziness. Some symptoms have proved to be fatal as the virus is claimed to live in Evansville, Indiana. Many others have also fallen victim to the virus. As a precaution, residents within the city of Evansville are being asked to stay away from City Hall. Do not approach the area for any reason, as every person inside of the City Hall were reported to be infected, along with the two casualties. danger for the city of Miami. The following message is transmitted at the request of Miami-Dade County Emergency Management. Police are receiving reports of an explosion inside the Miami airport. The explosion released a toxic gas into the air. Effects from the toxic gas release has resulted in casualties, injuries, and illness. Residents within a 10-mile radius of the Miami airport are urged to stay indoors and lock all doors and windows. Do not leave your home for any reason. our programming, this is a national emergency. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. A mysterious and dangerous event is occurring in the country. Throughout the past week, mysterious explosions originating from various vending machines across the country. Each explosion released some type of toxic gas or virus into the air. 
Effects from these gases and viruses have resulted in casualties and illness from the following locations, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Columbus, Ohio, Evansville, Indiana, and Miami, Florida. Residents within the listed areas are urged to seek immediate shelter in designated shelter locations set up by authorities. Reports of contagious diseases have been reported with these airborne viruses. Although the source of these infected vending machines is unknown, this has been determined as an act of terrorism against the United States. Prepare a survival kit that includes food and water that will last up to three months. Also bring a battery-powered radio in tune to 1200 FM for further updates on this life-threatening situation. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the United States government to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most station will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. No more reports of exploding vending machines, airborne viruses or presence of toxic gas have been received. It has been deemed safe to leave shelter. Once again, no more reports of exploding vending machines, airborne viruses or presence of toxic gas have been received. It has been deemed safe to leave shelter.